Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, I did something like this last year, I think. Um, I know I did this some, something like this last year on my blog, but I'm not 100% sure about here on YouTube. Um, but on my blog last year, although I am pretty sure I did it on YouTube as well, but I could be wrong, you know. But last year on my blog, at least, I... During Big Brother season, um, the U.S., I didn't do this for Big Brother Canada last year, I don't think, but last year for BBUS season 24, I did, when the cast was first announced, I did um, a YouTube video and a blog talking about the cast and then my preseason ranking. So just ranking all of them, like, um, ranking all of them based on, like, their interviews and bios, like, just coming out, not seeing, like, what they're like in the game just before the game started and then I did another like like an updated ranking post um, like halfway through the season like where my rankings are currently and then I did another ranking post um, at the end of the season for like the entire season so yeah um, so I'm doing that for Big Brother Canada this year um, and I'm probably gonna, gonna end up doing it for um, Big Brother US this summer so I cannot wait. Um, I cannot believe there are like three weeks left of Big Brother Canada this year. That's insane. It feels like it just started like last week. But yeah, this season just flew by, honestly. But anyway, um, I just posted my blog last night talking about, or I'm not sure if it was last night but or the night before, one of it. But um, I did recently post a blog talking about um, my current rankings um, for the cast. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm not going to include, I'm only including the ones that are remaining. So there are seven people left, so I'm only going to, going to include those seven. And then at the end of the season, um, so sometime in May, whenever the season's over, I will do an updated video and blog talking about my rankings for the entire season, like in general. So, yeah, um... I'm just going to jump right into it. Like I said, I'm only including the people that are remaining, not the ones like that have been already evicted. So, like last night, or not last last night, the night before. Um, spoiler alert. Um, Hope was evicted Thursday night, so I'm not going to include him, of course. My fan's on, so like my hair is getting in my face. That's why I'm touching my hair a lot. But yeah, um, Hope was evicted sadly, because I really like Tope, um, Thursday night, so obviously I will not be including him, I'm just, like I said, including the people that are remaining. So, um, this is pretty, going to go by pretty quick, because like I said, there's only seven, but there is something that I do want to say at some point in the video, I might just save that for last. Um, so, first one is Shania, she was my favorite, she was my favorite I'd say out of all of them, she was my favorite preseason, and even now, like, she has been my top favorite all season long, including preseason. Like, preseason, like, if you guys have seen my rankings for preseason, you would probably know that she was literally up, like, first or, my top first or second. So, and that has not changed. <laughs> so, I still love her, she is still my pick to win, so, yeah, Shania is number one. Number two is Renee. It sucks that literally most of the season she was on the block, but she's HOH now, so I'm excited for her, and I cannot wait to see what she does. I heard she wants to go after Ty, which makes me super happy. I will get into Ty in a second, but yeah. I cannot wait to see what Renee does for HOH this week. Love her. Um, number three is Claudia. Number four is Koozie. Um, Koozie has changed on my list the last couple of weeks. Um... Okay, now I'm going to get into what I wanted to say earlier in the video. Because earlier in the video, I did mention that I wanted to mention something. I didn't know when I was going to do it in this video. But I think now I'm going to do it because it just makes sense. Koozie. She has changed in my rankings the last couple of weeks. Um, like, even preseason. Like, she was up there. Like, I loved her personality and her vibes preseason, and like all season long, like she is, has been one of my favorites, and I would love to see her win. I still would like to see her win. But, um, sometime last week, I can't remember exactly when it was last week, but sometime last week, I was watching one of the episodes, and they, 
Um, Kuzi, Daniel, Anika, Kai, um, Santina. I think that's it. All of the house guests except for three of them were in a room. Um, like I said, Kuzi, Daniel, Anika, Ty, and Santina. I think that's it. I think, yeah, I think they were the only ones in the room. Um, it started with Daniel C., Anika, Hope. I think that was it, the three of them in a room, or they were in the pool room, and Hope was keeping the door shut. They didn't want to let anyone in. And then Santina and Ty um, and Kuzi, they kept pushing on the door, along with Janae, Renee, and Claudia. But Hope, every time Santina pushed on the door, Hope let her in. Um, who else? Kuzi pushed on the door, he let her in. Ty pushed on the door, he let her in. Or he, him in, sorry. Um, and he let all of them in. Because I remember that episode, Hope looked at Daniel and he kept saying, don't let them in, don't let them in, no matter what you do, do not let them in. He still let them in, and eventually Hope and Anika, not Hope and Anika, Daniel and Anika just let him do it. They were done saying, like, don't let them in, leave them out, leave them out of the room. So, eventually, they gave in, and they were like, okay, yeah, let them in. And they kept doing that for everybody, except the girly pops. And by the girly pops, I mean Shanae, Renee, and Claudia. That's what they're called, like, together. Shanae, Renee, and Claudia, they were really hurt about it, too. And they, I feel like they didn't show any remorse to it. Um, like, Shanae, 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 Renee, and Claudia, they kept pushing on the door when everybody else was in the room. And... They were all like, no, we're not letting you in. Like, they weren't, everyone else was in there. And I, like, I have posted on Twitter, like, how I, so many times how I felt about that. I was so pissed off about it. Like, my, my great aunt, my nan's sister, she watches the show too. Um, one of my family's friends, one of our family friends, they watch the show as well. They, they love it. I love it. We all love it. I was talking to my nan's sister, my nan's sister and one of my family friends. They hated it. They were super pissed off as well. Um, I asked them how they felt about it, and they were like, yeah, we hated that. So, yeah, and eventually, like, they let them out of the room because someone did say on Twitter that they left them out of the room, the three girls, just because they thought it was a secret power. And I'm like, okay, but you thought there was a secret power before anybody else was let in, and you still let the others in. You still gave in. So what's the difference between them and the girly pops that's what i'm super confused about like they were they thought it was a secret power so they didn't want to let anyone else in and then um but at, but again they like i said they thought it was a secret power so they didn't want to let anyone else in but then again they didn't they didn't even know they thought it was a secret power like yeah if it was a secret power and if you thought it was a secret power you wouldn't want to let anyone else in i wouldn't either I want the secret power to myself if I was on the show. But like like at the like again, they didn't even know what it was. They thought it was a secret power. They didn't even know for sure. So, and at the end of it, they all found out it was something for the whole house. So like, why couldn't they let the girls in when it was for the whole house? The whole house is going to know about it anyway. Like that was actually honestly, um the way I see it in my opinion, that was honestly bullying to me. So, yeah, and when the girls were finally let in, after they found out what it was, like, Shanae, she was kind of emotional about it. Like, I, like, I think there were some tears in her eyes. She was really hurt about it, and they were, they, the three of them kept saying, like, like, this is not okay, this is a joke. If you're, if this is your way of playing Big Brother, it's a joke, and it's a really bad way to play the game. And honestly, they're right. So... At first, Kuzi, Daniel, all of them, they were up top on my list for preseason rankings. And after that whole moment last week, when they didn't let any of the three girls in, now they're now they're a bit lower because I lost. I didn't lose a lot of respect for them because that could have been they could, that could have could have been their gameplay, but it still wasn't okay, honestly. So, like I said, preseason and like halfway through. Like, up until last week, literally, they, like, Kuzi, um, Santina, they were, like, I liked them a lot. Like, I loved them. I, wa I wanted one of them to win. 
But after that whole moment last week in the pool room, not so much. So that's why Koozie is at number four now. Um, at first, it was at like number two, number three. I mean, now she's at number four, so it's not that much of a jump um, lower, but still, like, I loved her. She was one of my top favorites to win. Now she's at number four, and I wouldn't, like, I'd be, I'd love to see her win, but I'd be, like, I'd be okay if she didn't. So, yeah. Um, number five is Daniel. Um, Preseason, he was really high up there. He was, like, in my top five. Now, he's still in my top five, but he's, but then again, there's seven people left. So he's, like, the third, the third last, if that makes sense. Um, next, number six is Anika. I like her, but she's not my favorite, and, yeah. And last but not least is Ty. Um, I like Ty preseason and, like, the first couple, like, episodes in. But then when he started, like, hanging around with Zach, like, I, I could rant about Zach all day, every day. Zach was something else. I'll just say that. He left the game because, I don't even know why he left the game. It was something stupid. Um, Zach left the game. It was, like, so much shit happened on that one episode that Zach walked out on. It was, him and Ty found out that... Hope snuck in a secret letter from his girlfriend, which you're not supposed to do on Big Brother. You cannot have anything from outside of the house, inside of the house. The only people you can bring with you are, are the only people. No. The only things you can bring with you from outside of your house is your clothes. And I think some, like, hair stuff. I don't even know about the hair stuff, but your clothes I know for a fact. I think you can bring, to the, bring on Big Brother with you. But you cannot bring anything from any loved ones, nothing like that. You don't have any connection to the outside world. And Hope a Hope actually snuck in a letter or a note from his girlfriend. I think it was. Something like that. And Ty, instead of Ty and Hope, not Ty and Hope, Ty and Zach telling him, like, what you're doing is not wrong. You can't have this in the house. Um, they literally went on and t pretty much told the entire house that he was cheating at the game. Instead of just going, being civil with him and telling him about it. And then they went to the diary room and told Big Brother, you know, Hope is cheating at this game. He has a secret letter from his girlfriend and all this stuff. Instead of being civil people, being civil with him and telling him about it. Saying, you know, what, what you're doing is not right. You should go, you should come clean to Big Brother in, before we, like, instead of us be, coming clean to Big Brother for you, if that makes sense. And so, like, they could have just told Hope, like, you should come clean to Big Brother instead of us doing it. But instead of saying that and being civil with him, they went to Big Brother themselves and did it for him. Yeah. Yeah, and then from there, Zach's game, like, everyone started, like, I wouldn't say picking on Zach, but, like, everyone was starting yelling at Zach and stuff like that. And then Zach just walked out. And where Ty was his best friend um, in the house, he wanted Ty to walk out with him. And literally, like, mess up his game and walk out. Like, on Big Brother, you know that, like, you can really only trust yourself on Big Brother. And, yeah. And, like, I, I'm honestly glad Ty did not walk out with, with Zach. Because I would have been super pissed off if he did. Because you're literally throwing your game out the window just for your best friend. I get it, it, you like Zach, your buddies with him, cool, that's great. But you can also be buddies with him outside the house. If you want to win Big Brother, like, you're talking, you're winning, like, money, you're winning, like, a bunch of other stuff. So, yeah, him and Zach together, I hated him with Zach. Like, when Zach was in the house and him and Zach were, like, all buddies and best friends, I really did not like, like Ty. I, yeah, he was just not it. But I, I will say, though, in the past, like, week or two, he had, Ty has been growing on me since Zach left. Um, but yeah, I can rant, I can rant about that for hours, which I'm not going to do. Because I'm literally going to bed now in, like, ten minutes. Almost ten minutes. So, yeah, anyway, those are my current rankings for where we stand in the season. Um, like I said, there is three weeks left of the season, so, um... Sometime a couple days after the season is over, I will do my final rankings, but, ne but 
next time I will include like the entire house guests, like all house guests, including the people that walked out. So, because like a lot of them, I feel like there has been more like self evict self evictions than ever before on Big Brother in one season. Like I can count three people that walked out. Yeah. So anyway. If you guys enjoyed today's video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. And I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye, guys.